Hi everyone, welcome to another learning episode. Today I'll be sharing with you some sample quantitative experimental research. I know you've been asking this for so long, but I was quite hesitant at first in making this video since I am not a science teacher and my knowledge in terms of doing experimental researches and science investigatory project is not that enough. However, I have a friend who happens to be my co-teacher and he is a chemical engineer by profession. He helped me out in terms of crafting these three research titles I'm going to be sharing with you guys. So without further ado, let's jump right into our our first research title, which is Saluyut or Jute Extract as an Alternative Glue. So the first objective for this research title is to determine the effectiveness of saluyut or jute stem extract as an alternative glue. Right after writing our general objective, the next thing that we're going to do is establish our three specific research questions. The first research question is to determine what is the average adhesion time of the experimental group. When we talk about the experimental group, it means the treated group where we use the alternative glue or the saluyut or jute stem extract. Now down to our second research question, which is what is the average adhesion time of the commercial group or the control group? Now, what is the difference between the experimental and the commercial group? When we talk about the commercial group, this is the glue where we could buy at the supermarket or these are glues which are commercially processed. Now, the third question, which is also a significant question, is to determine if there is a significant difference between the adhesion time of the experimental group and the commercial group. So, the third question is to check the difference between the performance of the experimental group and the commercial group. Now we are down to our second research title, which is tobacco extract as an alternative house mold remover. So when you talk about house molds, it's a fungal growth develops on wet surfaces. So let's check if tobacco extract has that property in terms of removing this house mold. We have to process a tobacco extract and turn it into an alternative house mold remover by doing extraction, separation, and straining. Then the main objective for this research title number two is to determine the effectiveness of tobacco extract as an alternative house mold remover. So the same thing, the same process or method that we're going to do in our first research title, we're going to establish three specific questions. So the first research question is to compute the average time of the experimental group or the alternative group in terms of its capability in removing house molds. So the first question refers to the average time of the tobacco extract as an alternative house mold remover in terms of its capability or its performance. Now the second question is to determine or to compute the average time of the commercial group. When we talk about the commercial group, these are products. These are commercially processed products, house mold removers that we can buy at the supermarket or any other stores. So we have to evaluate its performance, its capability in terms of reducing or removing house molds. Then the third question is to determine if there is a significant difference between the performance of the experimental group and the commercial group. So we are now down to our third and last experimental research title, which is Seaweeds as an Alternative Bioplastics. So the main objective for this third research question is to determine the capability of the seaweed as an alternative bioplastic. So we are going to establish three specific research questions again. The first one is, what is the tensile strength of the experimental group or the alternative group where we use seaweed as an alternative bioplastic? Now the second one is, what is the tensile strength of the commercial group or the bioplastics that are commercially processed? Now we are down to our third research question which is, to determine if there is a significant difference between the average tensile strength of the experimental group and the commercial group. As you can see, there is a reoccurring pattern in terms of how we write our statement of the problem or how we establish our general and specific research questions. 
uh, I believe these are just simple researches that junior high school and even senior high school students could implement. So I hope you have learned a thing or two from this video discussion. If you have further questions or so anything that you would like to clarify, please like my FB page. You can also message me there. Another thing before I end this video, if you want to avail our tutorial services, and we also offer research consultations, kindly visit our website. Uh, you can find it there, all the fees for each of the category. And if you have any other concerns, you may also drop a message in our FB page. So I'll be linking those pages and website below down in this video. So I hope you have learned something out from this discussion. Thank you so much and keep on learning.